Hello and welcome back to our channel. My name is Kate and today we're going to be working on forming a lowercase or a little e. In this letter series, we're talking about C, O, E, A, and D. All of these letters start by making a little curve or magic C. It's often called this because of its ability to turn into so many other letters. E is different though. We draw a little line before we draw the curve. During this video, we will refer to the starting place as the starting dot. If you don't have dots on your paper, have a helper draw them on the middle line. For this video, you will need a piece of lined handwriting paper. If you don't have lined handwriting paper, you can have a helper draw the lines on your paper, like the example we provided here. So if you've ever heard the song, Where Do You Start Your Letters?, you know we start our letters where? That's right, at the top. If you haven't heard this song, go and check it out. We've linked it below. And then come back to this video. Let's first take a look at the E on our screen. It is made up of one little straight line and one little curve. First, let's trace the letter E with your finger. Right here is our starting dot. Put your pointer finger on the starting dot and trace the little line going across, like you're hitting a baseball. Now, trace the little curve going around like you're running the bases down till you bump the bottom line. Let's try it on your paper. It's important to note that the starting dot for the lowercase e is not on the middle line, but just below it. You will be touching the middle line as you make this letter, though. First, watch me. I'm going to put my pencil on the starting dot. Hit the ball and then run the bases. Stop! Can you say it out loud with me? Hit the ball and then run the bases. Last time, you say it out loud for me now. Great work! Can you try one more time on your own? Great work! That is the letter E. The most important thing is to keep practicing. You can start practicing by writing the phrase of the week. It's a code, like a secret code or a computer code. We're writing it because it has all of the letters in this series. I'll show you how to write it once, and then you can do it on your own. See you next time, we'll be working on A.